I think one great, you know, Liz and Max are old friends of mine. I worked with Liz on the Lego movie, and she was the voice of Wild Style. And obviously, some of the things she talked about, I knew, having been through uh, the past few years with them. Um, but also, I learned new things. So I, th I thought it was great, and they were just really genuine, authentic. And they both come from different points of view as far as producing. Max started out as an investment banker, a digital executive, and then an author. And Liz is coming at from uh, an actor's perspective. So it's interesting for me as a uh, producer to hear a different point of view from a, uh, different people of different backgrounds. What I learned a lot from Max and Liz is that they're very willing to share and hear lots of different point of, points of view. And some people, especially when you're coming up, you're really protective of your own idea. And they're really the opposite. They really want to share with others. And they really realize that a great movie is not made just with one person, but really with a team. And so that's something that I really value as well and really respect. I really value partners. I have partners on almost every one of my movies. And these movies are huge beasts at this point. And so it's important to have partners really can divide and conquer and do different things. Sometimes I'll be strong in one area and weak in others, and the, and the partner can shore me up in that other area. But there's so many things that go on now uh, in producing a movie, and the industry is changing so quickly that it's good to have another person to talk things through and go through the ups and downs together. And finding a partner, trust is the most important thing. They're actually obviously very uh, blessed to have relationship where they have been married and they you know, dated a long time before that, so they know each other very, very well. But in talking to them, one, about trust. Two, it's about real respect for your partner. And even when they talk in their panel, a lot of their partnerships are long-lasting partnerships. They are repeat business, that it's not just a one-off. And that partnership evolves. You just never know where a relationship is going to go, but it's out of trust and respect uh, for that other person's talent. You know, Liz started off as an actress, and now she's a producer and also a director. But being able to see someone's inherent talent in the partner, because people evolve, people grow, and then ideally, as a partner, you grow together. Yeah, the challenge for me this past year is making sequels is tough. You know, the first Lego movie was a successful movie, um, but now we, we kind of raised a high bar for ourselves. How do we make an even better movie? We never. Uh, imagine the success that we'd have and, and the fervor from fans. So the challenge this year has been, how do we kind of top ourselves? How do we continue to push ourselves? What is the, the reason for being for each of these LEGO movies? Uh, and then we're really expanding the TV in a big way. We have two pilots uh, that got picked up for the fall. And so we had Forever on ABC last year that was unfortunately canceled. But now we have Lethal Weapon on Fox this fall, and we also have Frequency for CW. So the challenge for us is, um, abundance, a challenge of abundance. We have three Lego movies, we have two TV shows, and then we have two live action movies shooting this summer. We have Death Note with Adam Wingard directing and Stephen King's It with Annie Machete. And so it's a great challenge to have, uh, but the challenge for me is, okay, how do I deal with scale? Uh, how do I deal, you know, retain the high quality bar that we all want in Lynn Pictures movies while making sure that we're building out our team and working with the best directors possible? What inspires me is working with people with the vision. In the case of Lethal Weapon, Matt Miller has a real vision of how he wanted to take the original movie and into a TV show. Uh, same with Jeremy Carver on Frequency. People didn't think Frequency necessarily was a TV show, but he made a few changes to really make it a really interesting time travel show. So what inspires me are the partners that I work with, the creators I work with, the talent, the directors, and then making new things. You know, Part of being a, a producer is you take something out of nothing. right? So you, the case of the Lego movie, it was just my son Miles and I playing with Lego, and then to see it many years later and do it with my partners Chris and Phil and turn it into a movie that really moves people. You know, that's really the most satisfying thing of, of being a producer. I try to create an environment for other people to succeed. So if you come to Bricksburg, I try, Bricksburg is where we make the Lego movies, and I try to make it the most fun place possible. So we have a slide uh, for artists. So when artists come to work, they choose, do they want to take the stairs downstairs or do they take the slide, for instance? Uh, I have a secret room that my wife Sophia built, and obviously it's not so secret that I'm telling you, Mitch, um, but it's a secret room, and I bring people into a kitchen, and there's a secret door, trap door, that you have to go through to get to that secret room. Um, so I try to create an environment to create inspiration and to make a, a, the workplace fun, because we spend so much time at work. And for us, it's, it's what we do, the culture of our workplace is infused in the movies themselves. So in the Lego movie, you feel the joy, you feel the humor, you feel the heart in the movies because that's what we experience in the workplace. My vision for Lynn Pictures is to be the greatest creative hub in Hollywood. And it's a place where the best writers, directors, producers, executives work together. My vision is that we're all working together for the same goal and that people are helping each other. That 
it's not the auteur theory at Lynn Pictures. It's about how do we work together to make the best movie possible or the best TV show possible, and how do we help each other? Because in my experience, my business has been, my life experience in the business has been kind of ups and downs, roller coasters, and as a producer, you can be on top, but the next day you can be on the bottom. But the talent is inherently the same. You just experience something, something different. You can make a great movie and be happy with the movie, but the audience may not respond to it. And so for me, my vision is how do we create a place that we're all supporting each other, we're all making the best content possible. When the audience responds to it, that's, that's just additional icing on the cake. But as long as we're making movies and TV shows that we're proud of and that we're supporting each other through that process. Uh, David Mamet said that making movies is like running a marathon, and it truly is, and you need a village, you need a real community to get you through that marathon. I think there can be lots of different kinds of community. You know, some people find it in writers and directors, some of you find it in actors. I think it's what I'm talking about is just finding a team of people that you can be inspired by, that can push you, that can challenge you, that can support you when you're down. I think that's really important in this time of, of disruption in the business. You know, everyone's lives are being disruptive. You see what happened this past week at Sony and the heads of TV and film changed. You know, how do you get through disruption? I think you get it through community. I think you get it through the support of other people and I get it, you get it through you supporting other people as well. I'm a big fan of the PGA, and I'm not just saying that because I'm sitting here at the PGA conference, um, but the PGA helped me as I was starting my career as a producer eight years ago. Um, I started out as a mentee, and now I'm a mentor, but I, I'm really proud of what the Guild does. The Guild really educates people, they support people. Uh, now that I'm more established, I can help the next generation, but conferences like this are great because even someone like me can learn just as much as a, a fledgling producer.